I've always loved football from a young age. Um, always had a football at my feet. Um, I was into all sports really. Tennis, rugby, football, everything. But football was the one. And I think my dad realised that. And um, I went to play in York for a team called Round Trees. It's a Sunday league team from probably the un under nines. And I played there, my dad seen an advertisement in his uh, work and it was for Roundtree, so I went and played there at the age of nine years old. Um, enjoyed it and just kicked on from there really. Uh, kept playing and these days the younger sort of uh, players, they get swept up by uh, academies and, but I just kept playing with my friends till probably 14 years old where I actually went to Leeds United as an academy and um, went there and they fancied me and wanted me and that's where I started playing and really taking it seriously and um, I signed there as a as a 14 year old and stayed there for a long while. I was born in York but I lived in a, um, a village outside York where, like I said already, was, was, I had a lot of good friends around there. You know, I'd play out all night. Straight after school, I'd be out. Um, it was a nice village. It was perfect for me growing up. You know, you could, you could go out until it was dark and there'd be no worries. It was, it, it was a nice place to grow up and I had good times when I was younger. Um, I look back on them and it, it, it was nice. Uh, they love it. They love it. They've come to watch me at different teams. Uh, especially my lad, he's mad on football. He plays on the weekends and through the week. Um, you know, they're proud. They mention it all the time. They always have the kits who I play for. Um, and yeah, they, they love it and I think they want me to keep playing as long as I can. Well, it's funny actually, um, like I said before, I thought I was a bit of a ball player when I was younger. A winger, tricky winger. But when I went to Leeds United, you know, I was tall. Um, the sort of defenders were starting to change. It wasn't defenders just heading the ball and kicking it out. It started to go to, they want the defenders to be able to play with it, get it off the goalkeeper and play. And I was tall when I was younger. And you know, I was, I was decent with the ball at my feet. So it was a, why don't you have a go at centre half killer? So I thought to myself, well, go on then. And I played one game there and I loved it. And from then on, from the age of probably 14, 15, I played centre half and I and haven't looked back since. My first game, you know, I played for England from under 15s all the way to under 21s. And that was a very proud moment for me, uh, putting on the England shirt. Um, I enjoyed my time there, I learnt a lot. Um, I remember it, you know, it, it was the first time really where you played on telly as well. So that was good. Um, but playing for my first sort of senior appearance for Leeds United was something that I'll uh, always remember. Um, I sort of went there as a get the bags off the bus. I was very young, 17, 18 years old. I just thought there I was there to get the stuff off the bus and help with the drinks. And next thing I know, I was uh, on the bench. I was sort of looking round on the bench thinking, I'm the only other centre half here. If a centre half goes down on here, I'm on. You know, next thing I know, 60 minutes in, the centre half goes down and I get the shout that I'm going on. So. You know, that was probably the best thing that happened. I didn't, I, I didn't think about the game. I never thought I was really going to be involved. And it worked well for me because next thing I know, I couldn't think about it. I was on and it was all good. And uh, I remember it very well. I remember speaking to my mum and dad after. They were very emotional. I would probably say when we beat Man City and I was playing for Sunderland, we beat the champions at home, 1-0. I'll be honest with you, we were, they were on top for 90 minutes of the game. A lot of defending, you know, 
playing against great players, Tevez, Silva, all of them. Um, and in the 93rd minute, <laughs> we broke away and we scored. Uh, and like I said, there was 45,000 at Sunderland. And believe me, the, the ground was shaking, it, it was mental. And for me as well, it was good because I didn't play as much as I wanted to there. And when you beat the champions, it all, you know, came, you know, it, it was great. It's funny because I've played against him, you know, him being manager back in England and you see him on the sideline and just the f first time I met him when he was interested in me to come here, I knew straight away that I was going. Uh, just the way he spoke and you get a feeling about someone. And um, we've come out here, uh, pre-season in Goa, you know, at you know, almost 36, it was hard running, it was hot, <laughs> you know, but when you got a manager who you respect and you want to do really well for him. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen, obviously I follow you guys on um, Instagram and I see and on Twitter. He's very passionate and, you know, it's, it's great to see. Um, fair play to him uh, on the first home game. He was in the stadium at half time, apparently going round and giving the signs and getting all the fans going. So that's great. And, um, you know, we, we met him a few times and he seems a real top man. Um, we appreciate all your support, all the love you give us and um, we want to do as well as we can for you. Stay with us. Um, we've got people back fit now. We want to win games for you and just keep supporting us. I'm close to everyone, I like to speak to everyone. I like to speak to the young lads, uh, the Indian boys, I think they're very funny. Uh, it's good. Uh, they show me things on phones, I'm just like, how have you done that on your phone? I don't, <laughs> you know, they know all these different things. Speak to them, I go play PlayStation with them. And, but then obviously I've got the boys, of the foreign boys, Marco, I got on with very well. I shared a room with him for six weeks in Goa, maybe know him too well. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's um, in a very small room and you get to see a lot of different <laughs> things in there. But um, he's a good lad. All the mass, all the foreign boys are real, real good lads. Made it easy for me here. And also the staff, Maka, Edo. You know, it's nice to have a few English boys here as well to uh, have that sort of banter with, so. Uh, well, golfing, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I like to play golf. Um, I like to train, then come back to my room, rest a little bit. Don't get to do that too much when I'm back home with two kids who are eight and six years old. So to go back and have a little sleep is good. But I, I, like, I like being around people. I like to laugh, I like to joke. Um, cinema, bowling, everything. <laughs> Up Hyderabad Killiga. <laughs>